Hi guys, my name is Lee West and I'm your instructor for Chemistry 163 um, this summer of 2020. So um, we're going to often meet via um, Zoom for um, sessions, normally on a Wednesday between 11 and 12. And um, it's just kind of good manners that um, if you're not speaking or actively kind of engaging with other people during those Zoom sessions, if you can make sure your microphone and camera um, is muted, that's kind of the best. No biggie if you forget, but that's just kind of good practice. Okay, so um, as I said, my name is Lee West. You can either call me Lee or Dr. West. As long as you're polite, I'm not really too fussed. I do have a physical office. Um, it's in the Library and Science Building on the lower level, but I won't be there over summer. Um, I have a phone with an answering service. You can um, leave messages for me there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I'm not in my office, so it's going to be more of me responding to a message rather than you being able to speak to me um, instantly there. You can contact me via email um, at this address or you can send me a Canvas message. Uh, one of the things that we have noticed is that if you do attach a large um, document or file to a Canvas message, sometimes it doesn't quite um, process how you imagined. Um, so um, it's often better to send that directly via email if you're going to attach um, something. Um, but for just a text message, um, Canvas um, works equally as well. If you are asking questions about content, it really helps if you can be very specific. So if you can give a problem number or if you can give the title of the problem in Alex, that really helps. And then um, I have office hours every day at midday. Um, these are going to be via Zoom. You can find the Zoom address on the Canvas site, 12 to 1. Um, and then on Wednesdays at 11 um, and perhaps some other days of the week, we'll have um, some sessions where I run through um, normally questions. Um, um, but sometimes content, um, but they're going to be 11 p.m. every Wednesday, again, via Zoom. The link is on the Canvas site. Sometimes there'll be other sessions in the week, depending on what's happening that week and my availability. Again, I'll send out announcements um, when we'll be having sessions in addition to those on Wednesday. Those sessions are not um, compulsory and I might record them. So be prepared to be recorded um, if you do come on a Wednesday. It's really helpful if you can come, but like I said, not compulsory. We're going to be using the um, OpenStax book. Um, you can get that from the OpenStax website. I recommend um, just bookmarking that. Um, we're using the second edition of the book, and it's not the Adams first book. It's the um, straight up book. You do need a um, scientific calculator. Um, it doesn't have to be a fancy um, graphing calculator, but graphing calculators um, sure do help in chemistry 163. We're going to be relying um, heavily on the Alex online system for um, both homework um, and also for testing. So you'll need to organize access to the um, um, Alex system as soon as possible. This is your 10 digit code that you'll be needing in order to register. So um, we're going to have a quiz most weeks, except for three weeks when we have um, uh, tests. And those quizzes are going to be due and on the Monday after they were assigned um, at 6 a.m. I'm not giving makeup quizzes, but I will drop your lowest quiz score. Um, every week there's going to be assigned readings from the book and you will make handwritten Cornell notes of those and um, scan them convert it to a PDF and upload that to Canvas. The notes are due on Wednesday at 6 a.m. So keep an eye on those deadlines in Canvas. If you don't know how to make Cornell notes, um, then there's a little video um, and a link to other resources explaining that process. Similarly, if you don't know how to create a PDF and uh, submit that to Canvas, there's also a video in the week zero module that explains that process. Um, in addition to assigned readings every week and quizzes every week, you'll be assigned a series of Alex objectives. Normally, it's kind of like you know, in summer quarter, it's it's around about fifteen objectives um, per week because we have a pretty short quarter, and uh, you need to get those in by Friday six a.m. So notes are in on Wednesdays, and objectives are in on Fridays, and quizzes or tests are in by the Monday. Okay, so there are three tests that will be given throughout the quarter. They're due on Mondays, just like your quizzes. When we have a test, we don't have a quiz as well. And then there's a final exam that covers the entire content for the quarter. And that's going to, um, yeah, that, that's um, 
there's a date when that's due and we'll talk about that um, later on when we approach the final date. So for all of your quizzes and your tests and the final exam, what I ask is that you do the work pen and paper in an organized style, everything clearly numbered, showing all of your work and then um, convert that to a PDF and upload it to um, Canvas. This is really important for giving you the partial credit that you deserve. So we only got really one last thing is that most weeks, um, except for the first and the last week, um, we have a lab requirement and these are um, normally you know, reading a document, uh, watching a video and then answering a series of questions. So, um, you can find all the information for that on um, Canvas. You'll do some work, pen and paper, uh, convert that to PDF and then uh, upload that to Canvas. So the labs, when we do have them, they're, on, um, they're due on Fridays um, along with those um, Alex objectives. So your deadlines are Wednesday is your notes, Friday are your objectives in your labs, and then Monday is either your quiz or test. So that's kind of like the pattern that we would like you to follow in doing your work. Obviously, you've got to read the book before you can begin to do any work. Then you practice applying the content in your Alex objectives in your lab. And then finally, you get tested on it once you kind of feel like you've mastered the material. So it's a pretty kind of nice um, flow. So every week you'll have a module. Um, you should look at all of the uh, resources that are provided in that module. You should watch the videos. You should complete the assigned readings and then you begin with um, your assessments, right? Okay, so it's important that you do um, not try to kind of rush it and that you actually engage with the content before you begin doing those things that are your um, assessments. So most people, you know, there's no reason why everybody can't get 100% for the readings and also 100% for the Alex objectives because they are graded on completion. You just have to do them in the required format by the required time. And your quizzes and your tests and the final is where you're kind of graded on your mastery of your content. Okay, so um, that's it from me and uh, welcome to Chemistry 163. I wish you luck. It's a quicker than average um, quarter, so be aware of that and plan your time accordingly. You can work ahead as, um, as much as you like. So if you do have some spare time on your hands, uh, use it wisely and you know push ahead as fast um, as far as you want and as fast as you want um, because you know you might get busier later in the quarter. Okay, that's it from me. Bye.